Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Caspa Ecosystem Foundation. I believe this is one of the biggest developments for Caspa in a very long time. The reason for this is because this foundation is going to be driving forward the adoption and implementation of smart contracts. If you take a look at the projects here, you could see that they have the different phases of projects and currently smart contracts are now officially in development. You could see here also that the foundation is accelerating CASPA smart contract development by funding initiatives for recruitment, research, and more to be overseen by Yonatan Samplininski. And then also something that we have not heard before, but CASPLEX is a new development and it's going to be enabling token deployment, minting issuance, and creating an inscription DEX. And also says more to come here and more coming soon. And so Caspa Foundation put out this article as well to give a little bit more details of what this foundation is going to be doing here. It says we are thrilled to announce the official establishment of the Caspa Ecosystem Foundation. We hold the vision to foster the the development, adoption, and sustainability of the Caspa ecosystem. Given ongoing mining of Caspa has reached 80% of the total supply, we aim to work with the community to create a supportive ecosystem to empower individuals and organizations to harness the potential of Caspa technology to build a solid and diverse Caspa ecosystem. Now, I know there was a few concerns when this was released because some people have a bad thought of foundations when it comes to projects. But something that is very different about Caspa's foundation and to most other foundations in the crypto space is the fact that Caspa foundation exists now after 80% of the total supply has been mined. Most foundations receive an allocation in the very beginning, which essentially makes them a type of company for the coin simply because they have an allocation of the coin. Caspa Foundation does not have this. Instead, it's going to have backing by donations and credible investment companies to fund itself and to help drive Caspa adoption. Going forward here, it says mission objectives. And it says the Caspa Ecosystem Foundation offers funding, resources, guidance, and impartial principles to nurture the ecosystem and support Caspa's mission of becoming a widely used currency for everyday use. How to achieve this mission? The foundation will be supporting the Caspa ecosystem by providing research grants, facilitate research and development, support Caspa smart contract development, and other infrastructure research that helps improve ecosystem building developer attraction hackathon motivate developers come to build develop support offer grants mentorship and resources to developers working on innovative protocols in the Caspa ecosystem incubation for innovative projects support startups and protocols that build in the Caspa ecosystem create an incubator program to nurture the accelerate the development of promising protocols partner with accelerators and vc pitching Foster collaboration, encourage collaboration among industry stakeholders, including developers, businesses, academia, and regulatory bodies to support the mission importing stablecoin. And I believe this is actually very, very important. When a stablecoin is built on the Caspa ecosystem, this will be huge because the Caspa network is probably the best network to be running a stablecoin on when smart contracts are developed. Education and awareness. Provide educational resources, workshops, and events to increase awareness and understanding of CASPA. Merchants integration supporting, helping to expand CAS usage scenarios to further achieve being a widely daily used currency. And I love the focus of this foundation to still make CASPA a currency because as much as it's going to be driving forward the initiatives of smart contracts and it looks like a DEX as well for CASPA. The primary goal for Caspa is to be used as a type of currency and the foundation is going to make sure that this is at the forefront of their vision. Who is involved? The first phase of initial funding will be provided by Ice River Ventures Investment work with OKX Venture together to support the building of the Caspa ecosystem. You can see that OKX Ventures says here with an initial capital of $100 million, OKX Ventures is a fund focused on exploring high quality projects with great potential. They also have a portfolio here of other projects that they're investing in. So far, they have not added Caspa, but soon we will be seeing it on this list, I suppose. And it is pretty huge that OKX Ventures 
is trying to help Caspa reach adoption. So far, Caspa is only integrated on the OKX wallet and not on their exchange, but because they want to be behind the Caspa Foundation, I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing a listing on their exchange pretty soon here. Also, Ice River looks like it's just going to be a major company that's only going to focus on Caspa mining. And in my opinion, I think this is a very smart move because Caspa is receiving tons of attention and it just only makes sense to keep moving forward with making sure Caspa does get adopted because in my opinion, it is the most fundamentally sound cryptocurrency in the crypto market. It goes on to say here, the board of directors will be made up of representatives from various Caspa centric companies like CoinPal, Cas Media, and Rubar Media. The foundation will be overseen by board of directors. The board will be responsible for setting the overall strategy, approving major initiatives, and ensuring compliance with the foundation's mission. The fund structure, funding for the foundation will be sourced from a combination of investors, donations, corporate sponsorships, and revenue generated through events, programs, and investments. Transparent financial reporting will be a priority to ensure accountability and build trust among stakeholders. I really do want to see how transparent this is going to be and how involved the community is with this foundation, because I do hope that this foundation does not create some type of centralization within the Caspa ecosystem, but instead encourages more decentralization within this project and says on top of initial sponsorship and investments later 20 percent of kef's profits will be allocated to community development initiatives such as the death fund and community marketing fund which is actually pretty huge that they're going to sacrifice 20 percent of all profits to just basically go back to the casper project to ensure it continues getting developed it has an advisory board and it says it's going to be consisting of experts Thought leaders and representatives from partner organizations will provide strategic guidance and expertise. Their role is to offer insights, assess program effectiveness, and assist in decision making, and then the community benefits. It says, with the thriving ecosystem, all stakeholders of CASPA stand to benefit. Miners will see increased income from thriving transactions. Holders will receive speculative gains. Investors will find more opportunities for high quality projects. Developers will build a profit and successful project and merchants will increase their sales volume alongside the growing influence of Caspo. Apart from offering financial support, the KEF fosters a dynamic decentralized ecosystem comprising numerous independent organizations de dedicated to providing funding, coordination, and guidance, all aimed at ensuring the long-term prosperity of Caspa. So it really does appear that this foundation is solely focused on making sure Caspa get adopted and not so much that they're trying to profit off of Caspa. And I hope this will be the case moving forward but truly this foundation really puts caspa in the big leagues even bitcoin itself has some sort of foundation a place uh, where people are able to fund and allow bitcoin to continue getting developed which also now with caspa having its own foundation really just puts it in the big leagues and now no one can really say that the community funding only route is bad for caspa because now with this foundation we are able to officially get big investors like okx and others now try to join caspa and in investing through the foundation to ensure caspa gets developed and upgraded over time uh, the user Elper over here also asked Nicholas and Martin from Uphold and if they have seen this foundation and they both said that they've been actually helping with this foundation and Dr. Martin is from Uphold. So it pretty much looks like Uphold is going to be behind one of the other investors, probably making sure Caspa gets adoption. And Nicholas just has some good expertise in terms of explaining the technology and he was a ex Binance research lead at Binance US. So these two people are both actively involved in getting this foundation going. And this is really, really good news for Caspa. One of the best news I've seen in a while for it. But if you want to learn more about this foundation, there's going to be a X space tomorrow. It's going to be a Q&A for the Caspa Ecosystem Foundation hosted by Woofy, Rhubarb, JW, and Bubblegum Lightning. And it's going to be at 10 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow the 26th of march so i'm definitely probably going to be in there and hopefully hear some good questions asked so that we can get some more answers on this foundation but truly 
Casper continues to bring in adoption in different forms and ways, and people don't realize all the things that are happening in the background, but I am truly not worried when it comes to the funding now for Casper smart con contracts and a future DEX called Casplex, because truly this foundation is going to be helping move that forward. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel because I'm new around here. I'm sorry for no content last week. I was sick and I'm still kind of getting over that, but hopefully I'll put out more content this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, don't be average, be different.